live from Shadow Mirror Studios, it's Talkie Box like a rock. Like a rock. Oh, oh. like a rock. The rock. It's yeah. yeah. Uh Dwayne Johnson, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like that. Name. Yeah. Him, or that like Nicolas him. Cage movie where he's got Yeah, the... with Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, it's yeah. got Dwayne Johnson in it. Does it? Mm-hmm. Sure. I At don't least think so. it does. No. I think that's Sean Connery. <laughs> Hold on. I think you're thinking of Space Jam. I am always thinking of Space Jam. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, those, those tunes. They're not a dunk. Especially Daffy Duck. Especially oh, Daffy Dunk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Dave, host of Talkie Box. With me is uh, Jason. Jason. And Justin. Hi there. And we have Joey back with us. Joey back. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Yeah. The J Squad. That's right. And Dave. J3. J <laughs> Madness. J3. Speaking of J3... E3, right? E3, yeah. yes. That's, that's a thing. Happening. We're all happen. we're all gamers and stuff. Yep. He's, I like to he's play He's heavy games. on the gamers. He loves them. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've actually heard some really disappointing things about um, yeah, it's things coming from like Xbox and and PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I have yep. as well. Yeah. Whereas apparently Nintendo is just blowing it out of the water. Are yeah. they? That's what I've heard. I I heard uh oh now I don't remember what I heard. I've heard good things. No, yeah. I've heard good things. Digital I've something. Heard- I heard it's the name digital. of their company is Digital Something. Name of whose company? The one of the E three shows, like one of their the companies that shows off. You know, how Bethesda shows okay, off. Yeah, yeah. And oh right, right. It's it's Digital Something, not Digital Forest. I think that's a camouflage. <laughs> but but anyway, there's right. some company that I've heard a lot of buzz about. I can't remember the name of it because I'm a shithead. <laughs> All right. Clearly, didn't make that big of an impression on you. Uh, I nope. was supposed to. I was supposed to remember this. Ah, okay. Nope. I meant to remember it. Yep. And believe it or not, typing in E3 digital, Nothing. it's not really giving much. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's not really giving much. Try bad. virtual. <laughs> See if that hits. See if that's anyway. a thing. That's not gonna be bad. That's not gonna help at all. <laughs> no, it's definitely seven thousand four hundred nineteen hits. Yeah. You want me to try number one? Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Add. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I think. Uh, I mean, for me personally, there was only a few events that I was really looking forward to, right. yeah. and uh, one of them in particular, there were some supposed leaks surrounding it uh-huh. about some things that may or may not get announced, which almost all turned out to be false. What, what was it? Uh, Bethesda. Mm-hmm. Bethesda, okay. you know, the makers of uh, mm-hmm. Skyrim, all the Elder Scrolls and all the fallouts and yep. whatnot. Um, it was rumored they were going to... Uh, have Fallout 4 VR released, Skyrim okay. VR released, oh, wow. and having new Elder Scrolls 6 uh, entry, mm-hmm. as well as a, a new franchise coming out, like a sci-fi version of their Only the RPG last two games. parts of that interest me at all. Yeah. Like, you know, the, you know the what? The parts y- of, of Fallout and, and Skyrim, I do not give a VR shit VR's just not you, there yet. You know, uh, upset, but I've already played those games. Mm. You know what didn't get announced? Any of that? The last two things that you just said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the exciting new thing. No, no new Elder yeah. Scrolls and no new brand new thing. Yes, uh, Fallout VR is coming to uh, is coming to the the Vive, and the uh, the Vive? it's the, the it's, HTC version. Yeah, the yeah. HTC Vive. It's computer. It's computer oh, VR. New, okay, VR. Th- yeah, and yeah. then uh, and then Skyrim VR is coming to PlayStation, PlayStation yeah. VR. Why Xbox? wouldn't they do that on both, though? Why wouldn't yeah. they do both on that's the a, and... That's a damn good question. Nothing on the, nothing so on the stupid. triple Xbox. Yeah, nothing on that. That's something I heard about, too, is that... Xbox One X. Xbox One X. Project Scorpio became Xbox... Uh, a pretty cool name, I think, Project Scorpio. Yeah. Like, Xbox One X. Let's make this the stupidest thing ever. Yep. And a bunch of people so what does it do? on the internet, and we decided to what? go with their jokes. What does it do? It, plays, know, it, it, it plays everything in native 4K. That's it. Yeah. It it apparent the the one the one thing it has over PlayStation the one thing that I've seen that it, that the Project Scorpio had over PlayStation was that it was going to be, uh, just the best resolution possible right for any game system, um, whereas PlayStation is apparently way behind on that. Yeah, um, Xbox has always done really well on resolution and stuff like that, mm. but I feel like there was a lot that was left out of this Scorpio. Thing. Like, probably because the thing was it was supposed to be able to run with Hololens, the Microsoft like AR thing, and mm-hmm. it was supposed to be there. And then at the end, there was a bunch of leaks out that it was just going to be a Windows 10 PC. Yeah, just really? like it That's was going to have a Windows 10 emulator in it, and it just a, uh, yeah, an emulating and it would be, operating system, right? And it would be like a kid's computer, like huh. you know, it was an Xbox that could run Word, and that sounded fascinating. But kind of yeah, they 
didn't Especially do if it. it came with like a little keyboard. Right. Yeah. And well, all they all they did like, was from, from what I know of Xbox, it ain't coming <clears throat> with anything. You no. got to buy that extra. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You well, can buy that extra. Get the package deal. Yeah. I think the reason that they were very, uh, it was very conservative. Watching everything that was released from Xbox, it was very conservative. It was very like really reserved. I haven't um, had a chance I'd, to watch any of it yet. I, I mean, feel that makes perfect sense actually, because Xbox has always been the one that goes first when it's be- like between them and Sony, right? And and Sony always is like, oh, we fix all those problems that Xbox has. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like so. that's Apple. That's Apple with everything that you know, like Android or something. Like that. They'll release a phone that's got a cool thing on it, and six months later, Apple's like, well, we perfected it, so yeah. come buy ours. Yep. So I, I think Evolution. it's a good time for, for Xbox to put out something that's a little bit better right. and then wait to see what happens with everything else and then put out something way better. Right. Well, I mean, the PlayStation, I feel like they, their answer to Scorpio before, I mean, Xbox One X, before mm-hmm. that even came out, was the PlayStation 4 Pro, right. which was supposed to run well, high-def the- graphics and have like like superior processing power so it can... Play things yeah. in 4K with but Xbox. Great already had the, I think it was the Xbox One S, mm-hmm. and it supports 4K. So that, it supports that was that that kind of level, yeah. right? It supports so, so 4K at the they, same resolution as um, the PS4 Pro. So, so the basically, Scorpio's basically it's 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 nothing special. It's a derivative. At all. It's a derivative upgrade, mm. which is and it, it just <clears> plays <throat> Xbox One games. Yeah, um, it I does. It do, also does Xbox 360. Yeah, it does do the same ones that the Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, and come to find out now, and the really long press release, it will start. They're going to start doing backwards compatibility with original Xbox games. That's cool. Like OG Xbox games, yeah, which sounds neat. Now, the theory for me on this is when I watched the first Xbox One, when they first released it, it was all about media and all about TV. Okay. Like that's what their push was with that console was right. going to be like a cable box. Okay. And it crashed and burned, and the gamers burned it to the ground, and yeah, everybody bought PS4s. And so I think they're really worried about trying to focus on anything else other than gaming now. I feel like they're worried that they're just going to crash I, harder. Because the, the, the whole argument between Xbox and PlayStation for the longest time was if you want a, a full-fledged media system, mm. you go Xbox. If you want it just to play games, go PlayStation. Right. And then PlayStation kind of ended up beating Xbox at both. Yeah. And... Xbox, all right, well, well, yeah, I mean, to a point. I mean, you still have a lot of loyal Xbox people out there, but PlayStation has been outselling them for a good while now, mm, for yeah. a, several, several, several quarters, and it just, Xbox is just trying to catch up. Because, okay. I mean, you, you have you have all the same things. I mean, you have your Netflix and your Hulu, and you're not right. really getting much else on an Xbox you're not already getting with the PlayStation. Right. Now I do I do like the uh, the voice activation of the Xbox. I mm-hmm. think that's pretty cool. That's if you have the Connect though. Yeah, you have to which, buy that extra. <laughs> right, and which the Xbox One S and also this um, the X yeah. do not have a dedicated Connect port on the back. You have to buy an adapter. That's they stopped believing in it. They sell it, but you have to buy an adapter for it. Damn it, Microsoft. <laughs> There's no dedicated port for the Connect on there, which makes sense because it kind of flopped, but at the same time, you know. You do have. You, you're still selling them. Still connect, right. Yeah. 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 They, buy our cheaper, crappier Xbox if you want to <laughs> buy these peripherals. Right. I still. I still that, that's one of the things that always upset me about Xbox because I've had Xbox 360 for a long time, but it, it was. I remember when 360 came out and, and it was, you know, before the PS3. And it was right at the time when HD became a big thing, and yeah. you had the the big battle between HD DVD and Blu-ray, mm-hmm. Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. and <laughs> Blu-ray one, and Xbox's cooler name, like little one hundred percent cooler name. Yep. I I predicted it was going to go the other way because it was like HD DVD. I know exactly what that means. Whereas Blu-ray, you have the people who were like, oh, "What was that?" Well, I don't know what a Blu-ray is. I don't right. know what it is. Yeah, Can I get. It? Do yeah. I want it? Mm. That's not how it went. Porn picked Blu-ray, so that's what happened. Um. <laughs> Porn controls that kind of media. That's it's, how it it's, it's it's a big push, yeah. So <laughs> Xbox but, just has to become triple <laughs> Xbox. Yeah, and then they are on an easy street. I made that joke earlier. Did yeah, you? but you did it poorly. Um, triple Xbox, yeah. No, no, I didn't follow it. Mm-mm. Yeah, didn't well, it. it's a good thing you thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always made me sad when when Xbox would come out with all, like they'll come out and then and they're like, oh, you want this thing? Yeah, you can buy that for sixty dollars. Right. And how about this other thing? Sixty more dollars. 
I remember when the and original Xbox 360 came out, you had to spend ninety dollars to connect to the internet wirelessly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because it didn't come with the, the wireless uh, adapter. It didn't you, had, come, yeah. you had to buy that, and then and then PlayStation Three came out, and it's like we got that in there for free, right? Fine. And it was also like, it's oh, you can play online for free too. You're not paying anything, yep. you know. Mm-hmm. And that was a big push too. Which now a, they changed that, right? Right now yeah. it's paid. And um, one big push for PlayStation, which is kind of like not a lot of people use, I guess, at least from what I've talked to, is like their over-the-top TV service, their PlayStation View service, which is like I don't even cap- heard of it. It's it's cable, but it's not cable. So you sign up for a subscription service like Hulu or Netflix, right? Uh-huh. So you pay like <clears throat> 25 bucks a month, and you get over-the-top TV channels. So you can get like ESPN and all the you know cable bullshit channels, and then you can get like your local channels like NBC or Fox or okay. things like that. And it's over the, the internet. You can do it on your Apple TV or do it on your Roku, whatever, mm-hmm. and watch it on your phone. And you don't have to pay for cable. And there is some original PlayStation <clears throat> programming, isn't there? Like- uh I don't think they've released anything yet on there. I think there, there, there was the one with uh, Sharplow yeah. Copley. It was about superheroes, and yeah. he was like a an ex superhero turned superhero detective. Yeah, I have I no idea what you're talking a about. A detective <clears throat> of superheroes. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't hear about that. It's it was, it was called like Humans Network. or something like oh, really? that. No, Humans is AMC. That's uh, the one currently. Superhumans. Well, PlayStation or, Network is different from know. PlayStation View. <laughs> no, so, it, it was. It's definitely. It's definitely one of the. Uh, it's a PlayStation original program. Mm-hmm. I know that. Hmm. Apple has original programming now. Oh, do they? It's terrible. I know they have this, uh, the, the, the... <laughs> Planet of the Apps. I, I, I heard of that one, and then there's also the, the karaoke one that's going to mm-hmm. be them. Yeah, the, they're going to... The drive-by karaoke or whatever it's called. Carpool karaoke. Yeah, that's that the was one. started by James Corden. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah. They bought it. They bought the rights to the segment. They were really? like, that's his ours now. And so he can still do it on his show. He still has a license to it, but yeah. like they bought it as an own show idea to try and spin off like Lip Sync Battle. Okay. Is their own show on Spike now? Yeah, and so like they're trying to run with that, but they don't have their own dedicated service. It's not on like the Apple TV or anything. It's on Apple Music. Huh. So right. you like, have to buy it. Yeah, you have to oh. like pay a subscription service for Apple Music, and then you get access to those videos. But like, it's a music subscription service. Oh. You know? I'm not paying for that. Yeah, and it's, like, why would you want to watch videos? They're, 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 subscription they're, service. they're going to expand it out that way, though. That's that's just their first few steps where they're gonna they're gonna start. Apple Music will be music and video streaming all in one. Yeah, that's I feel bad for these developers at E3, where all this all this spin and all this hype and all this like they're trying to keep their trade secrets <clears throat> secret, and then like all these leaks come out, and some of them are you know honest and some of them are dishonest right. and. And it builds all this hype. And so when they actually come out and they release... Hype train. <laughs> there is a lot of disappointment nowadays yeah. where like everybody's like, oh, I really right. expected this project and this project. Well, I, I think for me, like I, I only play a few specific types of games where I have... Ex- not initially, I have expectations about when things will be coming out or I have excitement about it just regardless. You know, right. when I play Skyrim... I know, like, I'm very much looking forward to the next installment of this. Whenever it comes out, I'm going to be really, really excited. Here comes an opportunity. It might happen. It might happen, and it didn't. Yeah. Uh, but it will. It will. I mean, it's a money it maker. Will. So it'll, it'll come. It's just we were hoping it was go- they were going to give us a little sneak yep. peek, nope. and they were like, no. And you know what? They might actually had one in the back. It was just like, oh, somebody leaked this shit? You know what? No, we're pulling it. <laughs> Hmm. We'll, yeah. we'll announce it next year. week. We'll yeah. announce it later. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Actually, you what know you're what? Saying actually reminds me of like movie trailers that come out and and uh, have all this cool action and all these cool scenes and stuff that and you're really excited for. Right. And and one of three things happen: either it spoils the movie for you, and you're like, "Oh, I would like." Every this good scene. scene was in the trailer, or, or it's every good scene is in the trailer, and now everything sucks. Or you or, don't even see those scenes. Or in the there's movie. times where yeah, the scene isn't even in the movie. You're like, "Where was this really cool thing that they showed that's not there? This is bullshit." There, that's there the name some, of the episode. Here's was another really cool loose reference. No, no, no. Uh, uh, every good thing is in the trailer. Every good scene is in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. There's a there's <clears> some <throat> movie I rented probably a year ago. It was supposed to be a comedy, but it it wasn't funny. Drunk people. Yeah, we saw it together. We watched yeah, it together. Yeah. Was, I was referencing it for you, but basically the the guy on the front cover, like he's got a full beard or something, right? Or I, 
or is he shaved? I don't remember. It's one or the other. But it was the opposite in the movie. But it was the opposite in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, Have you like, seen Drunk People? You know what we're talking about? Drunk People? It's called Drunk People. It, don't watch it. But I've witnessed Drunk People. It's got, I have not seen the movie. It's got fantastic actors. In it. It's got Anna Kendrick, yeah. uh, Olivia Wilde, um, Jason something or other. I can't. Sudeikis. No. Actually, he is. He, he, he is, does have a small part yeah. in it. He's not even Jason credited. Jason Siegel. No, but, um, no, it's uh, Jake Johnson. Oh. Yep. Um, and then uh, the guy from Office Space. Anybody? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Steven Root. Nope. Ron main, Livingston. Ron Livingston. Yeah. Those are the four main people. And it's like, we got it at Redbox. And it was billed as a comedy. And we watched it. We're like, there's nothing funny about this movie at all. There's some like, depressing there was, there was parts. There's one part where I remember laughing. And that's it. Wow. And it was kind of like a whimsical, kind of like a, oh, that's life. Yeah, kind of laugh, huh. like not a delivery sort of like no. set up. Like, yeah, not, kinda... That would happen. It's not at all a comedy, even though it's totally built that way. And I want to say even the preview, like I remember seeing a preview for it. And I remember thinking like it looked funny, but I like Anna Kendrick is one of my favorite actresses ever. And I was like, this movie is shit. Yeah, hmm. I didn't didn't enjoy it. Um, but the craziest thing to me was that the cover. I'm pretty sure, like I think he was clean shaven on the cover, and you see all the faces of the people. But in the movie, he's got a beard, like, yeah. the entire movie. Mm -hmm. And so you're like, why in the hell didn't they take the photo <laughs> off? Did he shave that shit, like, as soon as they were like, all right, that's a wrap, folks. I'll he's see like, you at the party <laughs> tonight. Like, thank God. Oh, it's been so sweet. And they're like, oh, no, we need a picture. Like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, oh. Like, we, need, we gotta yeah. do a tie, uh, cover box photo. You know what? Screw it. Nobody cares. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. The movie's not funny anyway. <laughs> What's well, like The Martian? Like a couple years ago, they won the Oscar for best comedy. I think. Really? Yeah, The Martian won best comedy the Oscars. I mean, there were some definitely funny parts. It was funnier than Drunk People. I can tell you that. Yeah, but it was <laughs> like, I just couldn't see when they like listed the nominations. I was like, the comedy? Why is it in the comedy category? That's, that is weird. I mean, it's, it's really funny that you bring up Drunk People because I was literally thinking about that movie like two days ago, and I was like, God, I wanted that movie to be so good, and it was so bad. You know, it's the isolation it, sickness. He's he's up there. He's he's dying on Mars. He's talking to himself. That shit's a hoot. If you were narrating <laughs> it, it would have been funnier. Yeah. What you going on? What you, you drawing over yeah, here, buddy? Just like, yep, whoop, it's drawn. <laughs> did, did, did we ever did add we... that stuff? No, I, I I keep sending it to him, and it, it doesn't end up getting. Any... I actually just today I got a bunch of pictures that you sent from Colorado, <laughs> and I don't know when you sent. I don't know if you sent those. Long time ago. Really? Yeah. Long I got time. those like literally right when Joey showed yeah. up. Yeah. I feel like they were actually uploading from your phone while I was in Dropbox. Like while I was in Dropbox, I noticed those pictures like popping up. It might be you didn't keep it open long enough for it to do it. <laughs> so they were all upside just, down. Maybe too. you just sent them and then closed the app or something. That's probably then, what it is. It's possible. And then yeah. they were still in like a send mode, and yeah. when I reopened the app, it started to send them. Anything's possible. That must be, that's almost guarantee what that's what it was. I mean, I was there. Cool. Especially <laughs> yeah. awesome. I'm, I'm the only reason y'all know that this happened. I mean, I know it yeah. happened because it was it showed up in Dropbox. Yeah, that was but a thing. That was, that's that's an app. Yeah, Joey's right. There's that's, not a single picture that's like the correct rotation. Like, yeah. Orientation. Whatever. They're all either upside down or like sideways. Nice. That's that's just for you. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were sitting there going, use those. Also got the video of me on the on the blue screen. Nice. That's a good one. <laughs> Dave in space. Mm -hmm. Space Dave. Also upside down. Yep. And also with half his body missing. It was Cause, because wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> Spacey Davey. We have to put that on. We're gonna Davey put that Spacey. On YouTube, I think is the Spacey Dave. Spacey Dave. We need to come up with some more challenges for some little mini videos. David Spacey. Like our David it's... Spacey. <laughs> You know what's funny? I actually rather hear what you're saying right now. <laughs> right? Yeah. I I can't. I can't go any further. Um, I don't know. Something about David Spacey. No. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing that please down. Please don't. I don't write that down. <laughs> that's the new title of the show. Ah. Kevin's yeah. little brother. <laughs> we meet Kevin's little brother. You said Kevin. David. I immediately thought Kevin Sorbo. Oh, Hercules. Is that that's who you akin <laughs> yourself to? No, that's who right? I akin <laughs> Kevin to. <laughs> right? No, I mean, because you were you were Kevin's <laughs> little brother, and rather than being Kevin Spacey, you just Whoa! automatically went Kevin Sorbo. I guess. Like, there's a lot of Kevins on this earth. Not that many. There's a decent Kevin amount. Hart. Yeah. 
Kevin Hart. All right, we got yep. three. Yep, there we go. That's all I need. <laughs> Kevin Harvick, NASCAR driver. Boom. There's four. Never even heard of that one. Kapow. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin James. Kevin James. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Kevin Can Wait. Kevin McAllister. That's a, that's a thing. That's a show. Yeah. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin? Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I said Kevin McAllister. No, I heard what you said. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kevin Jones. I'm sure there's a Kevin Jones out yeah. there. Yep. Kevin Brown. This is going to be his segment of the show. Right? <laughs> yeah. Kevin Tabor. All the different Kevin. Who's your Kevin favorite Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> general, Comment with your favorite Kevin. We're going Kevin to give a Jackson. shout out to all the Kevins. All the Kevins. If you're a Kevin, we like you. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm apparently your little brother. Yeah, subscribe. If you're a Kevin, this is your turn to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you were up next. If your name is like Vigo or Thomas or something, you wait. Yeah. You, you wait until we get turn. The, it's not your turn. This is for the Kevins. <laughs> Actually, like Kevin don't share, wait. Share a Coke with yeah. Yeah. Kevin Sanchez, Kevin Carlson, Kevin Charles. Kevin Costner. Kevin, oh, that's a Kevin good one. Kevin Costner. Yeah. How about that? Mm-hmm. You could be dances and with And of all of these, I went with Kevin <laughs> Sorbo. And you went with Kevin, <laughs> Kevin Conroy. Kevin, Batman? Yeah, Batman. Yeah. No, I said uh, Kevin. Not that Batman. Uh, yeah, but he brought it up, yeah. and we all said, oh. Yeah. So we might as well yeah. talk about it. We, I mean, I guess R. we R. Yeah. Well, R.I.P. you had to pee. <laughs> well, <yeah, laughs> like, all right, well, go ahead. Let's talk about Batman. Right. I gotta, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll yeah. switch the conversation now. All right, Adam West. Yeah, Adam West died. Mm. Adam West, mm. dear Adam West. Right page of 88. Yep. The mayor Quahog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, he's forever burned in my my memory that way. I mean, I definitely saw Batman yeah, growing right. up. Definitely associate Adam West with being Batman. Right. But his voice acting. But when I hear his voice, I go straight to Adam West. There's actually Mayor uh, Adam West. He did a lot of voice work. I didn't realize. Like there was several I, I remember seeing a collage on Facebook or something. It was it was Adam West in the middle and then all these different characters he did, mostly cartoons. That I had no idea. He did a lot of work for Nickelodeon when I was yeah. growing up, at least. He like worked on the Fairly Odd Parents or something like one of those shows. Some, yeah, he he was and also he was in a the person. the Batman animated series as yeah. Clock King. Uh, Interesting. Or no, I think it was Clock King and uh, the Gray, Gray Shadow. Great. What was he? Mm. I will support you. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I I had no idea how much work that Adam Adam West had actually done. Yeah. In in his uh, many years. Yeah. Lots. Uh, Lots is how much. A lot. I mean, I don't know if he came up with the cat launcher, but that's a great idea. The one episode of Family Guy where oh. <laughs> he's, he's got a cat launcher. It's like a crossbow, basically. Yeah, and he's loading the cats into the crossbow but and it's shooting like, them. It's, it's, I guess there's maybe some kind of extra... Backing so that you yeah. can just shove a kitten down into <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, because I don't feel like you couldn't just put a cord like around the back of their legs. Mm. I don't. That would just kind of trip them, like kind of cat flinger. <laughs> I, I I've always been curious at like how many of those lines he got to improvise, or how many times he had to say it. Just be like, "Are you sure you want me to say this <laughs> shit? Like, you're you're serious." His, so, his, someone's stealing all my water. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that his sense of humor was actually a lot like that character in Family Guy. Yeah, like, it probably was to the, a point. Yeah. Yeah. The real I mean, it kind of be. just obscure sort of just yeah. wackiness <laughs> that, that comes <laughs> with, with putting on that kind of a, a Batman outfit. Right, like, yeah. Now, if you've done is the family guy, <laughs> is Family Guy is Family Guy going to send off Mayor Adam West? Are they going to? Are they t- still making Family Guys? Absolutely. Well, then they oh, damn yeah. well should. Yeah, they have to. Like, like yeah, how? No they can't. Yep. I, I wonder mean, how much to... back audio they have with of Adam West. I'm sure, a ton. How long has he been on the show? Uh, at least Almost ten since years. Since inception. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think Family Guys. I think in 1999 it'll be 20 years old. I mean, in uh, 2019, it'll be 20 years oh old. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious. Maybe, but I know that there were several seasons they didn't do because they were canceled at the time. But Yes, it's been around since 1999. Yeah. But I think they got canceled twice. I mean, if I oh. were an audio engineer for a major show pulling in, like, a salary, I'd, I'd try and just keep people mic'd. Yep. Oh yeah. I would just just keep the time, like I'm just gonna collect as much audio as I can, just in case. Just I mean, in hell, with, case. When we first started this as an audio podcast, we attempted to do that. Yeah. Like we'll just we'll just so. we'll just splice together uh, bits of our lives mm-hmm. that we've we've collected from microphone. <laughs> now, one thing that I wonder is if, 
like when you're going on as a longtime cast member on like a cartoon show or something, if they like if there's a like a thing in the contract that says, oh, we need to record a, like a death scene for you just in case. Oh, that's kind of just in case we kick you <laughs> off the show <laughs> or something. Like not not die, but, I, but like I kick you off saying, the show. But like, yeah. Yeah. Happy 60th birthday. Could you sign this just in case you die contract? <laughs> We're going to need you to run some B-reel for us. I'm allowed to use your face using computers right. forever. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead it's and get your... George uh, Lucas clause. Let's just go ahead and get your dead computer face. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, I was just like, uh, you know, I was sitting darker. here we talking. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> it did get darker. Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah. Uh, but oh, no, I, I get what you're saying, and... and Despite how creepy that is, like right. it made sense. The thing, yep. Um, Especially yeah. with the animation, because it's so it easy. It must go to, on, you know. You know. But yeah. here's the thing, right? Do we eventually start putting actors out of work with dead actors hmm? mm. that have signed over their likeness rights or I don't whatever? Get into and, that conversation. <laughs> and you get like a a virtual. X. I'm yeah. not going to say anybody specific because they're passed on and I want to respect them. I'm not going to use anyone specific, right. but you can imagine whoever you will. I mean, you could go with somebody who's like close to dying if you want. All right. Dave <laughs> Montero. Damn it. <laughs> 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 All right, let's just say that their Dave Montero talkie box is obviously going to go places because yeah. you guys support us, and that's all we really need. That's right. right. And your friends, please. And, and so, everyone you've ever met. And everyone you've ever met. But and say this goes huge places. Dave passes away. He sold us his likeness rights. Never we make happen. a Dave. <laughs> you know, because it's the future. Uh-huh. We're living in the future. Yeah. So we make us our Dave, and, and he just goes wild. He becomes way more popular than he ever could have been in real life because he was so hard to deal with. Yep. So Virtual Dave is skyrocketing. <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of him. Coca-Cola, Delta, they all want Dave, Dave, <laughs> Dave. And Only Atlanta-based uh, companies. Yeah, Coke and Delta. Coca-Cola, Delta. Delta. You know, Delta. Delta. Home Depot, Home Depot SunTrust, oh, you know, Waffle House. All the good companies. Uh, what, yeah. what else is there? Kroger, right? Chick-fil-A, right? <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Zaxby's. Is there other places? I don't know. <laughs> what was I talking about? How great Dave when is? When I die? Yeah. 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 You die. <laughs> and so, like, but now all these people that would have been making commercials or would have been making movies, mm. now, like, these bit roles and slowly evolving as, as technology increases and AI becomes a little bit better and, and CG becomes a little bit better and other acronyms become better. Right. And <laughs> and then boom, like now we're being entertained by a virtual world. Yeah. That just reminds me of the episode of South Park where um oh, it was Germany who sent Funnybot to South Park Middle School. Yeah. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen I haven't it? watched South Park in years. So Long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it just a joke telling machine? Yeah, it was a joke telling machine. It'd go around and, and then it ended up like killing a bunch of people. Well, of course, of yeah. course it, was, it would, because <laughs> it's from Germany. Yeah, and, and it's so, a like, robot, <laughs> right? And so they had to like, because it was supposed to be like it was going to its mathematical conclusion or something. So they had to like figure out a way to get okay. it. To, but yeah, and so that's that's the entire time. It's all I imagined was you know just a little Dave bot running around, just going about around telling jokes, killing people. Yep. Mm-hmm. that's exactly what would happen. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> so easy to work with. Knock knock. Who's there? Go that, fuck yourself. Actually, you're 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 a uh, bit reminded me of how. I guess, well, they are real people. Like Colonel Sanders and uh, Wendy from Wendy's. Right. They've been updated, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> like that we, I've seen, I've seen uh, Norm MacDonald playing Colonel Sanders. I've seen mm-hmm. Daryl Hannah playing Colonel Sanders. Yeah, Norm MacDonald and everyone Norm MacDonald knows. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Playing Colonel Sanders, who friends. was a real person. Colonel Sanders was a real guy. Right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they, they don't call her Wendy in the commercials. They call her Red. But... She's supposed to be Wendy. Right. But Wendy, also a real person. I always call her Hot Wendy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's hot politically Wendy instead correct. Of, instead of regular Wendy? Instead of, yeah, yes. instead of business, professional, older, <laughs> larger Wendy. Well, speaking of which, <laughs> Wendy's, we hear you're pretty uh, you're pretty good with Twitter, so why don't you just go ahead and, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Hit us up. We're on Twitter. Follow us. You're on Twitter. Yeah. Wendy's, this is now your time to subscribe. Twatters. You know subscribe. what? Subscribe. I'm pretty sure they use 100% never frozen fresh beef. Uh-huh. And I've heard that. We also could use a sponsor. Yeah. yeah it's fresh, never frozen. Yeah. However, if they're not interested in sponsoring <laughs> us, um, you know, 
their fries used to be a lot better. Whew. I think they're good now. I like the fries I now. like the sea salt. Yeah. I'm a fan of the sea salt. Of the the sea salt's salt. so much I, better than regular yeah, salt. Yeah, I feel like the salt upgraded. I feel like the potato kind of went down a little. I disagree. Yeah, it's I a higher quality potato. When, Maybe when, I'm just when they're made bunk. right, I think you're, you're, you're getting some shitty fries. I'm getting mm. soggy, limpy. Mm-mm. If they are Ooh, made yeah, right with, with, soggy, the, with the correct amount of salt... They're fantastic. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Some of the best fries out there in fast food today. There's mm-hmm. always like a dark spot. <laughs> and like a... <laughs> Always a dark spot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Pretty much the show. I, I think. Yeah. Best salt, though. Best yeah. salt in the world. Absolutely. Oh, sea salt's Well, awesome. if they were a sponsor, we could probably all agree. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably all have fries on the show. That's mm. true. Imagine. Could you imagine chewing noises? <laughs> Just constant... All of the fries. You know, you know what I really like is 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 watching Jason pantomime stuff. And we're all quiet, and right. I'm like, we also have an audio podcast. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you will. Yeah. I am eating a French fry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yummy. Yeah. Yeah. So what you drawing now? French fries. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't like McDonald's French fries. They don't that's like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, that's yeah. They got a. They got a guy. For that, that draws that. <laughs> we we tried to get into his building one time, me what? and me and some people. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think it was any of you guys. I mean, maybe Justin was there. No, I don't know. Uh, anyway, went down to uh, <laughs> where they do the Adult Swim, right? The yeah. Cartoon down Network Street. down there on William Street. Yeah, and we tried to sneak into the building, mm-hmm. and uh, it <laughs> didn't go very well. No, no. What happened? Well, we, we, we got, uh, you know, through the gated lot or whatever and, like, uh, basically into the, the garage, like the ground floor garage. Mm-hmm. And we were basically just using the whole, like, we belong here. Yeah. Like, just act like you belong and right. every, everything will go your way. And right. it was working out okay mm-hmm. until somebody that was, like, an actual guard <laughs> <laughs> was, was like, uh, ex- excuse me. And we were like, oh, yeah, yeah, what's up? How can we help you? Uh, <laughs> like, do you have... This is obviously my place. Yeah, what do you need? Do you have <laughs> business here? Like, oh, uh, what, yeah, we're just checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to see, you know, where the, where the magic happens. Uh, yeah. And she was like, that's not how this fucking works, dude. <laughs> Y'all can't just be down here like this. Y'all got to go. And we were well, like, we were surveying it to uh, make some purchasing decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was really thinking of buying this building, but not anymore, ma'am. Uh, Good. Thanks. Day. Can I have the name of your supervisor, please? Yeah. <laughs> don't bring him down here. I don't know. No, <laughs> no, bring him down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a spectacle. <clears throat> but you, 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 you go up. And you go get him. You go. You go. You get go him. get him. You don't take I'll us wait. to him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait right here. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm going to put a piece of tape on the ground. That's a perfect way in the building. If she takes me into her supervisor, I'm deeper in the building <laughs> now. True. Now all I have to do is impress the supervisor. <laughs> uh, Just wow. Yeah, yeah, man, you've got, you got, you got all guy. of this figured out. I'm working my way up the chain. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you don't like you... me? Let me see your boss. <laughs> <laughs> Soon it'll be at the CEO all of... Right. Time Warner and Turner. <laughs> yeah. and just, yeah, just want, all right, Ted. Mr. Uh, Turner. I got some problems with your security guys. <laughs> can, I get, can I just borrow your ear really quick? Come here. Come, come here, Ted. Come here. Come you here, Ted. Any, you got any bison burgers? In aggressively, this <laughs> aggressively put your arm on his shoulder and pull him in close yeah, for a close yeah. talk. The, the, the Trump shake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He needs to feel your breath on his cheek <laughs> when you're talking to him. So you guys get it. Then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was trying so to make listen, some Teddy, headway. Teddy, 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 listen, listen. I really need you to help me out here. Listen, Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like constantly that confused. Made like Joey uncomfortable. <laughs> right. the rest of the that made our. No, it was my acting skills. Like I, I was fine. It was okay. Uh, so so anyway, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it didn't come to fruition yeah. that I'd hoped for. No, I'm impressed you guys as far as you did. To be honest, like that's that's pretty great, <laughs> right? Or that I just had the gumption to just be like, fuck it, like, why let's, not? Let's go into adult. Just, I mean, we're just looking around, right? Yeah. It's not a big deal, right? I that, mean, you guys are doing. I mean, like, are you going to make a big deal of this? I was just going to be fly on the wall kind of thing. Yeah. You know? I was just going to watch you work. That's actually an approach I take a lot of times when I go places I've never been before, or like I, I like I have to go to a meeting or or a, a, an interview or something, and somewhere I've never been. I will walk in that place like I own that building. Mm. 
You got I, to. Yeah, like you don't want people to know that you know you don't right. want people to think you're nervous or weird, you know whatever. Mm-hmm. So I just walk in there like, hey, I'm looking for this guy. And they're like, yeah, he's up on top floor. I totally know where that is. Okay. <laughs> and then you're like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah. Is there a map? There's definitely elevators around here, probably. <laughs> I know where it is, but I'm supposed to meet somebody by the map. <laughs> <laughs> you just furrow your brow and point fingers. Be like, oh, top floor? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> until That's they the just watch you Until they watch you do that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just got to know where the fuck he is. But, yeah, commanding presence. Yeah. It's an important quality. Oh, yeah. It very much is. You get, it's, I get away with a lot of stuff. Like, <laughs> Yeah. You know, yep. Officer pulls you over. Do you know how fast you're going? Do you know how fast I was going? I don't that, think it works that, that way. That actually is not the correct not the way. No, that <laughs> never works. Do not do that. <laughs> don't do that at all. I'm lying to you right now. <laughs> or do it and tell us all about it. Right. Yeah. Uh, Post actually, it on Facebook. Yeah. Get well, your actually, little you're going video. 76 and a 55. Uh, are you certain? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Can you show me your gun? Yeah, show me. When was the last time you had this um, worked on? <laughs> 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 You get this, uh, you know, work done. How often? <laughs> Can't got, find a better word. You got paperwork. <laughs> I need to see the paperwork on your on your gun. <laughs> I'm gonna need to know how many of these cars you've scanned with that gun. It's probably worn out. Well, who's your boss? Bring him, bring him down here. <laughs> Call the who, sheriff. Who, who Take here, me to your boss. <laughs> who here is, is the commanding supervisor? Who's the commanding officer here? Who's I need it? to speak with him. Oh, that's a big way. That's an easy way to start an argument between two officers. Because they just be like, oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the top guy. Not if there's six cars. No. <laughs> there's, a, there's a consensus. One of those. Well, of, yeah. eventually there's a consensus formed as to who the. I was just thinking, like you know, like, now I, I've, there, I've always noticed that I feel like they always bring another car if there's an opportunity. Like mm. always. I uh, I got a car recently and I had a temporary tag on the back. Uh-huh. Well, at some point going down the interstate, that temporary tag just flew off the back of my car. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was and made of paper. Everything it's like they are, yeah. <laughs> like the every bit of my schedule and every bit of the schedule of tag offices worked against me in that instance. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I wasn't able to get my tag until uh, just yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. But uh, I just saw your, it doesn't even have the tag on it. No, no, it has a temporary tag on. Yeah, it. yeah. But uh, anyway, I got pulled over. I actually got pulled over twice. Mm-hmm. At one point, I got pulled over not having a tag, obviously. I pull over into a gas station, and I park. Guy comes over. He's like, you know, you don't have a tag on your vehicle? And I'm like, what? What do you oh, mean there's no tag? <laughs> your, stomach yeah, your stomach responded. Yeah, your stomach agreed. Yeah. I hope that trends. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but I'm like, I, I, I just bought this car. I handed him my paperwork. Yeah. He walks away, goes to his car. You know, he was calling up into his radio while he was approaching mine. He's in his car, yeah. probably about 15, 20 minutes. He gets out of his car, walks back up to me to tell me that I'm good, and the canine unit just comes in right behind him, and yep. he turns around and like, we're good. And they just turned around and left. Yeah. It, 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 every time I've ever gotten pulled over, There's always another, another cop, cop <laughs> will show up. That was the first around. time I got pulled over. Yeah, I was heading home from work. I was... Um, working at a different place at the time. I was heading home. I was 16. I was in high school. It was late. And I was just trying to go home. I had school yeah. the next day. Mm-hmm. And um, so it was a single dotted yellow line. And I was tired. And I was driving probably a little too fast. And this car was, like, really slow ahead of me. So I go over, you know, speed by him, honk my horn, get back over. And I slam on the brakes. Because I'm a dick. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least 16-year-old me was a dick. Knowing so, is half the battle, right. sir. Um, I'm less of a dick now. So, uh, Jason doesn't fight it. Uh-uh. No, he just <laughs> lets it fly. races it. So, and then two cars <sighs> back, I see blue lights. I'm like, damn it, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I pull over, and I'm uh, in the storage, like next to the storage place. And he gets out, and he's he's got an attitude. It's late at night. I guess he's tired. Whatever. He's like copping an attitude. Whatever. Also, you were a dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you break check a cop. You uh... no 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 no. I didn't break the break check the cop. Oh, I didn't no. pass by the cop. The uh. cop was two cars behind me before I. Originally, oh. I like I, and the way I claim it because I'm a dick is I was like, well, I had to slow down to get back in the lane, you know. 
Yep. Not that quickly, but right. still. Um, and you got to so, claim a possum or something. Was there like I don't know. You didn't see that possum? I almost hit it. <laughs> Shard so, glass. But long as your that thing's like, long as your forearm. Right. But imagine like 16 years old, first time getting pulled over. I was a little freaked out. Yeah, yeah. And so he's he's being a jerk, whatever. He's not like just letting me explain anything, mm. nothing. I told him I was like, I'm just trying to go home. You know, I was like, I've got to school in the morning, and um, I guess he thought I was drinking or something. He made me get out of the car, and at this point. 16-year-old me was bawling. Yeah. I thought I was going to die. I was like, oh, I'm going to jail. I, I, I don't want to go to jail. I can't go to jail. And um, Oh, so, you can go. Yeah, so he had me standing at the back of my truck bed, and then he calls the canine unit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you going to search my like single-cab truck? You think you're going to find something? Like, really? Yep. And um, He did think that. So then he gets mm-hmm. like this close to me, uh-huh. stands, and he demands to see my phone. He like wants my mom's number. He's going to call my mom or something. Right. So he gets on the phone with my mom, and he goes, um, the first thing I hear before he walks away is, you should be a better parent, and then walks oh. off. And I was like, I just thought in the back of my head, I was like, I'm getting out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mom's going to murder the man, and yeah. that's what happened. Um, Your mom murdered the man? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> we bailed, we moved to Georgia, and that's how um, I got here. <laughs> but no, so I proceeded to just watch him like fuss on the phone with my mom for a few yeah. minutes. Comes back, hands me my phone, and says, leave. Yep. I was like, all right. And I got home, and Mom was like, I'm mad at you, but that guy was a douchebag. And I was like, all right, cool. And I <laughs> went to bed. out there. Uh-huh. If you remember the face of this kid, <laughs> he was 16 years old, you're a dick. Yep. That's right. He was a dick. You were a bigger dick than he was. You don't have the bigger but dick. But thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, we appreciate well. it. Go ahead and subscribe. Yep. <laughs> uh, thin Blue Line. Tell all of your friends at the uh, the precinct to go ahead yeah. and subscribe. I mean, I have yep. nothing against cops, but that that, yeah. that guy was a douche. Oh, I <laughs> love cops. I just don't agree with a lot of laws. Yeah. But <laughs> cops don't make laws. They just do dirty they, work they for have to politicians. Do their job. Yep. I've I've like, and I agree with you to a point. But, like, I've I've met a lot of cops that are really cool. Some of my friends and family are cops, right. and most mm-hmm. of them are pretty cool. But like, I've met some dick cops, man. Mm. There have been a bit. Yeah. Of, well, it's an authoritative position, and you, you know, there's the there's the guys and ladies, of course, right? Uh, ladies especially that want to become helpful to the community. They mm-hmm. really do want to get out there and make a difference. Yeah. And you know, <coughs> some of them unfortunately get jaded by the system or whatever. But then there's those folks that go in and they just had trouble, you know, getting respect right. in school or or they never got loved in their family so they were always kind of a bully figure yeah, and right. once they got out of school they didn't have that big group of people to bully anymore so they right. just step into the into the officer position well a lot of it yeah, too I mean, I th- go ahead a lot of it too is it um it's fine is it <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's all fine um is oh in that case i'll go no, I'm just <laughs> so what we were saying I'm gonna... I'm going to lose my train of thought. Um, a lot of the thing is that a lot of the police stations, especially like around here in this like region, are buying out like old military weapons. Mm-hmm. And they're getting all these like military weapons and these people are being like not trained how to use military weapons, not trained how to use military force. Just going, here you go. Here's a bunch of military stuff. You know, hey, have fun. Just, you know, go around. And so they, they think, oh, we're big, you know, oh, you know. Oh. I, I, I think there's also. I got a grenade launcher. <laughs> I, I, think, I think there's also like a, some misguidance and some misinformation. You know, it's it's right. it's just like people who are uh, pressured to get you know sales on certain things or mm-hmm. to get so many signups for this, that, or the other thing. Uh, they can be encouraged, you know, verbally or non-verbally, to do certain things to achieve certain results. Right. Mm-hmm. And people will take that and run with it however yeah, they, they, re- they need they, to. Like reach a certain quota or something by the end of the month, especially with around holidays and stuff. Like if, I, a- if I plan on getting promoted, I have to get a lot more arrests under my belt. Yep. Hopefully that's not the case. I hope. But it probably is. Yeah. I mean, are you going to promote a cop that's never arrested anybody? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. And for, and for small towns, you know, like a lot of, a lot of small towns actually depend on mm-hmm. cops pulling in extra revenue yeah yeah like they they know like aha it went from 45 to 25 and eight feet like yeah <laughs> we did that on purpose it's legal in our town so that we can generate revenue right. off of it we have one cop 
He stands by that sign. <laughs> it says 25 miles per hour. He doesn't even have a car. He just waves at you. He's like, give me one. Give me one. Steps down the middle of the street, so puts out <laughs> a hand. You're like, I don't want to make this man slaughter. I better stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would not play out well. <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I've suddenly got uncomfortable with this conversation. It's, everything's turning dark. Or yeah. something maybe. Well, I thought because was... there's some dark people. So because our internet connection here is is, is so shit, I have to go. How shit it. is it, Dave? It's one. Okay. Like, one. Our upload speed here at the station is at the studio is one megabyte per second. So I go to the the library in Dawsonville where theirs is like 48. So that's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. So I was going there the other day to upload to upload this show, and uh, they there was an intersection that they were working on. And there were two cops directing traffic, which I see no reason why two cops need to be directing traffic. And the lights were working fine, so I saw no reason for one cop to be directing traffic. <laughs> but I like there was two cops, and they were doing the same thing at the same time. They were both like looking at this car, like is it being trained or something. Like, just or like... you hold, you come on, and then like what's what's the point? Why am I paying for this? Yeah, could have been, could've been a training. I mean. I guess. Or it could have just been <laughs> just bored. You know? Yeah. It was, it was a slow day at work. Hey, let's go there some time. And I, I know a lot of patrolmen do sort of, you know, buddy up with someone on a shift. Like, oh, generally, yeah. they. that's why when you get pulled, there's always a second car yeah. close by. Because right. when they're on patrol, they make their patrols so that... So that there's always right. backup, like right. within about three minutes or four minutes of each other yeah. at any given point, and a lot of times they'll <laughs> just go into a Kroger parking lot mm. and or a Ralph's or whatever and sit like right there <laughs> next Ralph's. to each other, yeah. and so that they can just roll down their windows and yeah, chit chat. I've seen yeah. that. And, oh yeah, and, and I, was, I, I was pulling into a racetrack the other day. There were there were four cops in a row, all within like an like an empty Aldi parking lot, and then like. Two parking spaces up, there was a cop car parked. Yeah. And it, they were just chilling. Yeah. And I had to, like, weave in between them in order to get to the gas station yeah, with no so... license plate on my car. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't get pulled over then. Such an eerie feeling to just pass cop cars, because I always feel like they're just going to find something. They're just I'm like, doing they're something figure wrong. Out so- yeah. I'm doing something You turn wrong. guilty like, yeah. as soon as you pass. I don't have a guilty mind, which is funny, because I'm usually guilty. <laughs> <laughs> You're usually breaking the law. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't because I don't feel like what I do should be legal. Right. I don't feel guilty about what I'm doing. Yeah. Like so, you know, I'll just I'll wave. I'll be like, "Hey, officer! Like, how you doing? Can I help you direct traffic? Is how's life? <laughs> things great? How's how's the home life? Are you high don't, right now? Don't tell me. <laughs> of course I am. Where's Fifth Street? <laughs> You're on Fifth Street. Get out of here." <laughs> That's a Dave Chappelle <laughs> joke. I stole that from Dave Chappelle. Just wanted to admit that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Hopefully he watches the show. I, yeah, subscribe. If you could subscribe, Mr. Chappelle, That'd that would be, be hilarious. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Just wonderful. Oh, man. He could buy a t-shirt. He's funny. He should buy a t-shirt. Oh, that's a great point. <laughs> Thank Look you, at me go. Joey. Look at me go. Way to go, Joey. Not even yeah. making money off this Joey McGoey. <laughs> Joey McGoey. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, yeah, we got merchandise. We do. We have merchandise. Tell them about it, Dave. Yeah, I'll tell you all about it. So, uh, we have a, a new merch store. Uh, you can find it on our website, talkybox.net. There's a part that says store. You click on that. There it is. And you click on the thing you want, and you buy it. And then it comes to your house. And it's not just shirts either. We have tell we them about st- some of the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> we got stickers. We have multiple different shirts. You can get you can get well, a V-neck shirt, mm-hmm. regular crew neck shirt, tank top. Uh, there's there's lady shirt, shirt dude shirts. Yeah, there's jackets, uh, boob cut shirts. Yeah, there's also like a bunch of other stuff. You can get an iPhone clocks. case. Yeah, there's clocks. Yeah, clock, throw pillows, clocks, yeah. whatever you want. Vacuum, not cleaners. whatever you want, but a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of stuff. Mugs. Uh, if you're in nope. need of something that we can put our name on, dehydrated ice cream. Yeah, dehydrated ice cream. Uh, no. I think there's some snow globes, talkie box snow globes. Most of the things that Jason's saying are not there. Do you need uh, a dog crate? We have one that we can put a sticker on. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do have a dog crate. That yeah. is true. <laughs> we can buy something and put a sticker on it and charge you for it. That's not a problem. Yeah, if you want a talkie box banana, we can do that. <laughs> um, Introducing the new limited edition talkie box Xbox One. Mm-hmm. X. We could actually uh, just sign that whiteboard and mail it to you for the low, low price of, I don't know, what do you have, 50 bucks? Yeah, three payments of 50, 50 bucks. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three easy payments of 50 bucks. <laughs> Plus shipping. 
Of and course, plus yeah. Sugar. yeah. I mean, what is it? this is America. I mean, and you know we have to like plenty of peanuts, plenty of bubble wrap. We'll right. put it in a protective glass case, mm-hmm. shadow box style. So it's probably going to be substantial shipping. Yeah, but we want to make sure like that it gets to bucks. you, like At ready least. to be put on display. Right, and you'll have it within eight to twelve business weeks. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> so. that's how long it's going to take me to bicycle it to him <laughs> <laughs> on his back. Yeah. Yep, that's your shipping cost right there. Yep. I get a per <laughs> diem. Yeah, you please meet never Jason. display breathing techniques. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lamaze. That's just Jason Talking box it. Lamaze. Huffing it to oh the my God. art museum. Now, what's the Lamaze? That's a that's a race, isn't it? That I feel like it's a bike race. Is yeah, it a bike so. race or is it a Formula One race? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a it's one of those. For sure. <laughs> yes, you, it's like a <clears throat> it's a triathlon where right, you bike, right. you Formula One, and then there's a scooter. I think <laughs> at the end, like a Vespa. Right, right. Child. Vespa race. <laughs> it might be a rollerblading contest. I, I, I would love to see a scooter race, legitimately. <laughs> I think with a bunch like, of Vespas. Where being... kicking is okay. Like <laughs> you can like you can like push people off their scooters. Yeah, totally. I feel like. Now, are you talking like Razor scooters or, or like the Vespa scooters? I mean, I would say. Motorized Vespa scooters would give you more protection. Absolutely. I mean, if you wanted to go razor, you know that you're going to lose. You're going to probably get <laughs> run down. Yeah, but maybe you know some techniques to like slip between. Do a trick, spin it around. Yeah. Hit him, oh, yeah. Hit him in the shin, get back on it. Just get off and run. Just yeah. carry. <laughs> yeah. Just carry and whack people. Pick it up and <laughs> whack somebody <laughs> with your scooter. That's perfect. You can't pick up your Vespa and hit me with it that easily. <laughs> no, you're not that easily. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you find Le Mans? I, I I have found it. What is it? Uh, it is the world's oldest active sports car race in okay, endurance formula. racing. Okay. Uh, and also, it's uh, breathing for pregnant ladies. <laughs> mm. Be a bad point of the yeah, It's also a basketball to... player, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, Lamont's James. Yeah, in, in Space Jam. Uh huh. Yep. All right. Full circle, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Everything comes back to Space Jam. That's true. <laughs> yeah, all roads lead to Space Jam. Lamont's so, James lost. Oh. Uh, that's true. I don't follow basketball, but I don't either. But he, I, he apparently sucks now or something. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a basketball. No, guy. He's still better than me, I'm sure. Oh yeah. I will lose at basketball mm. to most people. Yeah. Same. But tried I mean, out middle school, couldn't people, make a layup. Like there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. I mean, when you there's think, like seven billion people. When you think statistics, you really got to come outside of America. You know what I'm saying? How many folks? are way younger or smaller than you. Like, you should be able to dominate them at basketball. You've clearly never seen me play basketball. How many <laughs> folks are elderly and could break? You could just, psh, little check right That's there. That's a foul. Ah, I mean, it's a foul, but they're out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just got a, 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 you know, technical, personal foul. Like, okay, give them a free shot. Yep. <laughs> While they're laying on their back at the free throw. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll go to the half court. You go ahead and give them their shot. And then, and then I will continue playing, and they'll stay laying there on the ground. I'll just go and shoot layups until I win, you know, or babies. Which could take a long time. <laughs> yeah, it could take a long time, but you got a high chance of beating these. People. You think that? I, I don't know. And then there's like other adults. That's a new new talkie box Olympics event. <laughs> Dave plays basketball against babies and the, the elderly. And old yeah. people. A team, <laughs> a team of infants <laughs> versus Dave, like Rugrats versus Dave. Yeah. By himself. No help. <laughs> yep. and, then, and then the geriatric globe trotters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could I I'd enjoy that. I'm sure could, you would. Yeah. Some sweet Georgia Brown. What? Isn't that what uh uh the globe trotters do? The do 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 in that sweet Georgia Brown. Now I have no idea now what it's, it's called. Jason who's doo wopping on the show. Yeah. Have y'all ever seen the Globetrotters play? I've seen them on Scooby-Doo. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> then I'll just take that as a y'all have no clue what your reference <clears throat> point are. All right, we just know that they're they were, it were they were really on Scooby-Doo. Were the Washington Generals on Scooby-Doo? Uh, they were probably the uh, mean actually, guys. Actually, yeah, they were the there villains. Was, there was definitely one one at least one episode where they were on there. Okay, like they, they there was are, like a Globetrotters game, and then they joined up with Scooby-Doo. Because that's the that's the fall team for the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> What? All right, so I, I I have I have the lineup of uh, <laughs> of, of, of of who you're going to go one on one against. Okay. All, all the Gorgeous. people that should be just awful at basketball that Dave could beat. All, all right, right. so round one, round uh-huh. one, right? One on one basketball, Dave versus someone elderly. 
Okay. All right. Round two. Uh huh. Dave versus a baby. Okay. Now, All right. now hold on. If do I have to beat the elderly person to get to the baby? Mm. Yeah. Okay. They increase in difficulty. <laughs> the, baby, the baby beats the elderly guy. <laughs> just wait. I feel like right, just a right. height advantage okay. alone. No, let's let's go. All right, uh, Dave versus a drunk college girl. Okay, <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Oh man, can right. I pick the drunk college yeah. girl because she will smoke him. All right, uh, Dave versus a goldfish. Okay. And finally, the finale: Dave versus a bag of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna no, lose. I just, <laughs> it's not looking good for you, buddy. He's not gonna make it to that last I, round. Yeah, you're not gonna get to the easy goldfish and bag of leaves win. Because no. I think that don't drunk, underestimate I goldfish think, and bags of leaves. That's right. I am. I'm if you're a goldfish or a bag of leaves, please subscribe and tell Jason how wrong he is. Yeah. yeah. If you're a goldfish in a bag of leaves, you have about 30 <laughs> seconds. I'm sorry. Subscribe. You've got 30 <laughs> seconds. Go. <laughs> what are you waiting? You've for? got about 10 seconds. You've got about 15 seconds. Oh said. my God. Yeah. So, uh, so they're added to the Kevin Day. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, drunk college girl, though. Like, mm -hmm. A, I don't know what sex has to do with it, because I know plenty of ladies that would drunkenly smoke the floor with you. Yeah. yeah. And and I'm sure they would they would be happy to. <laughs> In basketball. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. They'd probably just keep one hand <clears throat> on your forehead. <laughs> I'd, I'd pay for that. Just, just yeah. shit talking, yeah. just drunken <laughs> shit talking with like one hand on Dave's forehead, constantly just like dick checks. Oh, that's not okay. <laughs> like, it's, whack! Oh, got the ball. Like, oh, it's not okay. <laughs> that's a, who's who's reffing this? I am. Damn it! <laughs> and that's clean. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, that was not reaching in. Uh, <laughs> Dave, that's not how you play. That just shoves your face. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. And then, uh, and then yeah. you'll like you'll get frustrated and you'll like barely touch her and she'll fall down and pretend to cry yeah. and I'll kick you out of the game like like a professional soccer player. Yeah. I'm way less interested in this now. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not going to be fair for you. No, I know. I mean, I already knew I was going to lose, and now, <laughs> now it's like uh, there's no chance. Now he's going to force me to at least get to the drunk college girl. Mm -hmm. You got to get to the drunk college girl, but you got to get past the baby. <laughs> yeah. We didn't say how old the baby was. Mm -mm. It's LeBron James, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Does LeBron James have a baby, or it's LeBron James as a baby? Both. Either way. If you can get LeBron James here <laughs> to dress in a diaper, <laughs> He's gonna I will beat dress. him at basketball. We're yeah. guaranteed an extra 50 hits. Elderly, <laughs> elderly is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So okay. Yeah. 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 Drunk college girls. I mean, There's... pick one. <laughs> <laughs> now the goldfish. Do I get to pick the goldfish? <coughs> oh no! Oh, this is this goldfish has been raised from birth to beat your ass in basketball. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, <laughs> like four days ago? <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of like the the Siamese fighting fish? Are they conjoined? Yes. Okay. No. Okay. You haven't heard of them? <laughs> oh well, they were all over the news yesterday. But anyway, uh, this goldfish is kind of along those same lines where they are specifically bred. For dunking basketballs. Mm. Yeah. It's this hot new thing in Japan. Yeah. Okay. You've heard of Tamagotchi, right? Yeah. Oh, it's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> They're your basketball playing goldfish companions. Right? Okay. Do I have to feed them and clean up their poop? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no. If you don't clean up that poop, they'll die. <laughs> <laughs> they will. It's awful. Well, Dave's found his strategy against the goldfish. Yep. <laughs> and, and the bag of leaves Leave come from Michael Jordan's house. Yeah. Mm. The space jam leaves. leaves. Space, yep. jam leaves. space Jam leaves. Ah, oh, you didn't <clears throat> tell me that. It's a magic <laughs> bag of Space Jam leaves. Oh. You have no chance. I really don't. Yeah. Just a flurry. A flurry of leaves. It's like that dunking. Mega Man attack. Yep. The Leaf Man's Mega <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Leaf, Leaf Man's attack. Or, you you know, the silliest of all the Mega Men. Yeah. I learned something really interesting about Mega Man the other day from, uh, you remember John? Our friend John of John and Sid. Oh, okay. um, So... Apparently, old school, like original Mega Man, stole their music from '80s bands. Like uh, one one of the one of the original, I'll have to link it or something on the video later. But one of the original uh, Mega Man stages was stolen from Journey. Like their music was stolen directly from Journey, uh, faithfully. Do, do, Did they just do, digitize do, it? Do, like, do. yep. 
turn something. It's just eight bit. It's eight bit faithfully. Down, down, and I guess there were no down, laws down, down. against digitized music. Journey, Journey doesn't play Mega Man. Oh, so you guys they just didn't didn't know? Yes, like their lawyers never I found think, out. I think that's that. exactly what happened. I think no one really knew about it until they like put it on YouTube, and someone right. was like, Whoa. "Whoa, hold on, who is that? Konami? Who did Mega Konami? Man? Ugh, I'm never gonna beat this level." Or Capcom. It was, was, Capcom. It was Capcom. Yeah. Don't yeah. stop believing. Faithfully. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. So, so that's pretty <laughs> much it for the show, Jason. What'd you learn today? Oh no, I learned that the show is always over too soon. Yeah, it's an mm. hour. It's an hour long. <laughs> it should be like at least four hours long. Oh my god, uh, I can't look at your face that long. <laughs> four I mean, hours, because I know the the people at home they're they're just now getting into it. Yep. Yeah, they're chomping just, at the bit. They're just yep. starting I, to get their. I guess they're gonna have to wait around wet. for next week. Yep. Oh <laughs> man, you are. You're gonna have to wait. But we love you. Subscribe, really and we will love you harder. Tell you what, tag yourself in a T-shirt. Crazy. You buy a Talkie Box t-shirt, tag yourself in a t-shirt, we'll send you a bumper sticker. Absolutely. I yeah. Will. Yeah, 100%. Merch. Buy our merch. All the merch. Buy all our merch. <laughs> buy some merch. We'll give you some free merch. We'll, yeah. buy, we'll, we'll give you free merch if you buy some merch. Take a picture of you enjoying a cup of something with a Talkie Box mug, and we'll send you something else for you to enjoy. A bumper sticker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. <laughs> Joey, what'd you learn? I learned that uh, when you die, eventually, <laughs> that um, you motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you're gonna be a a robot that runs around, sells jokes, and kills people. Justin, what'd you learn? I made a lot of that <laughs> it's up. Just like, yeah, nope. That, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that that robot's name will be David Spacey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I learned that I'm Kevin Sorbo's brother. All right. All Perfect. right. Perfect. Herky Little. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.